you wanna do? do city with the crew, I done get some food I see you looking like your dude, I done make a move, make a move so Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Nate Almighty, a.k.a. The Global Dog Skin Ambassador. I got another Rikers Island story for y'all today. I know I said that I was going to do seven in one week, but you're getting eight because this is a Rikers Island story that I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how successful this one going to be, but I felt like it was essential to speak on. So I'm going to speak on it now, man. The worst foods in Rikers Island. The worst foods in Rikers Island. And I would say just C74, but it's the same menu everywhere. It got to be equally trash everywhere. So let's start with what I feel like was the second worst meal they give you in Rikers Island, right? And this is what we call the bird. <laughs> the bird. Now, anybody who's been on Rikers Island or been upstate, you'll realize that on the walk-in premises, there's usually a lot of uh, gooses, geese, those birds walking around. Um, I have a notion to think that these were the birds that we were eating. Um, it seems that if they were trying to make money, which they are, because you know we get the very minimum best of everything, you know what I'm saying? The very minimum of everything. The shit that they could get away with that we can't technically sue them for for being inhumane. I would like to think that instead of going to some store and ordering this large amount of chicken, that they would raise their own goose, geese, ducks, whatever, and give them to us. This is by far, especially if you black, y'all know how we like flavor. Y'all know how we feel about chicken. This is a true stereotype. But first of all, anybody who don't like fried chicken, is something wrong with you. That's the first thing. Um, but um, on Sundays, I believe, every other Sunday, both these trash foods they gave out on Sunday. Now, this would be the, the, the driest, the driest, overcooked, driest, no flavor, having ass chicken you ever gonna have in your life ever in your life gonna have the worst chicken ever this chicken was so bad and so dry you had to make sure you had something to drink while you was eating this and it was so flavorless we used to have to take the packets the packets from the soups either the beef or the chicken flavor and sprinkle that shit on top of the chicken just to make it edible. Just to just just to not lose all hope at all in your life while you on Rikers Island. Like the worst chicken you will ever have in your life. I'm telling you. Trash. Trash, 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 trash. The best thing you could do with that is maybe break that up into little pieces and mix that into your little soup meal. With your tuna fish and your clams and all of that. That was the best thing you could do. Other than that, it was going to be trash. Other than that. Now, the next, and what I feel like is the worst meal in Rikers Island history. No competition. None. Are you ready? You ready? Sunday cop out. Now, if you've been to C-74 Rikers Island, I don't know if outside of C-74 Rikers Island adolescence that it's called the same thing, but it damn sure is the same thing. Sunday cop-out. Every other Sunday, dinner would come, and it's just like they literally just didn't care, and they just feeding us because they legally have to. Let me tell you what Sunday cop-out is. Sunday cop-out. You got your bread, and we always had the worst bread, <laughs> either white or wheat, typically wheat, dry ass bread, right? Super dry bread. And then we would have two of the worst pieces of cold cut meat you ever had in your life. It's like, what is it? Turkey? Bologna? Turkey bologna? Ham? Like, you don't, you don't even know. It's just like, pinkish grayish and it just looked dead it looked it looked like it'll attack you 
It looked like it'll literally attack you and kill you if you stare at it for too long. And then along with that, they give us some type of cold ass pasta, some cold pasta rotini, not rotini, like the like the bow tie looking noodles. And it's like a coleslaw. It's not coleslaw, but it's like cold. It's like, oh. My dad have a nightmare tonight just thinking about it, man. Like the wackest, the wackest meal you'll ever have. These are the times where if you a day room dummy and you don't have commissary, you're gonna have a bad night. Cause what you gonna eat? You better hope it's a nigga like me that's nice enough to share his food with you. Cause I'ma have I'ma have some good to eat. A Darren dummy will have to rely on a dude like me to actually care. Or maybe your former, or maybe you got a Darren dummy friend who got some extra commissary left after he get extorted, of course, and then he'll share with you. But other than that, <laughs> you asked out like big chicks in, in bikinis, man. It's as simple as that, yo. And I got a bonus. The worst meals in Rikers Island. Every single holiday meal. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day was all right. They was giving us corned beef and uh, spinach. Like, that was all right. But all of them, all of them is trash because you're locked up. And you're getting the jail version of whatever great meal you would have had at your mother, your aunt, or your grandmother's house on Thanksgiving Day. you getting the trash version of whatever meal you would have been eating on Christmas, man. All Christmas. Like, times like this is the times where people just start fights for no reason. It's holiday season. And you got to deal with this whack food. The jail version of what you would have been eating had you been home, man. Don't go to jail. Don't go to Rikers Island, man. It's trash. It's horrible. It's no, it's, it's no place for you, man. Ain't no money. Ain't no girls. And you got to eat Sunday cop-out. You got to eat bologna. And coleslaw for dinner on Sundays. Is that the life y'all y'all youngins really want to live, man? For real? That's what you want to do? By all means, man. But at least you know what you're getting yourself into. Courtesy of me. You're welcome. Peace.